Whether you want to scale mountains or visit cellar doors, the Grampians in Western Victoria makes for the best road trip. Three hour drive from Melbourne and you will arrive at the small town of Holtz Gap. This is where most of the trails emanate from. You can also get some basic supplies and enjoy a meal or a drink from the few restaurants and bars. Set against the backdrop of the magnificent Grampians and Pyrenees Mountains, driving from one location to the next is part of the adventure. We have been to the pinnacle in our previous trips, so we explored some new trails this time around. Venus Bats is an easy 2.3 km trail in mostly flat terrain. It's the perfect hike for our first day after a long drive. Next day, we took on the more challenging Chautauqua Peak Trail, which is about 5.5 kilometers and a 200 meter elevation. Still a relatively easy hike. And the views from the top are breathtaking. Only a short drive from Holes Gap is our accommodation at Grampians Pioneer Cottages. This property is set on 60 acres of native bushland where kangaroos and emus roam freely at your doorsteps. They have four charming cottages, each unique and made from recycled timbers, stone, bricks, and other materials from Australia and New Zealand. They are also self-contained, which we love, as we can stay in and enjoy a nice home-cooked dinner after a long day of hiking. The Grampians is one of Australia's most historical and acclaimed wine regions. The climate is characterized by hot summer days and cold nights, making Grampians wines both elegant and powerful. Its most popular grape varieties are Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, and Riesling. On this trip, we visited two wineries. First is Best's Wines in Great Western. Best's Wines is one of Australia's oldest and continuously family-owned and operated wineries. Its history dating back more than 150 years when Henry Best purchased 30 hectares of land small town of Great Western in 1866. Visitors can sample their wines at their cellar door, which is housed in the original stables built in 1866. can also take a self-guided tour of the museum and the original cellars which were hand dug by miners in the 1860s.
One of the fascinating bits of trivia about this winery is that the original block were planted with 39 different varietals, some of which are still unidentified to this day even after undergoing DNA testing. They release a limited number of bottles per year of a blended wine made from these grapes. Another historic wine producer is Sepult Wines. First vines were established in 1863 and by 1867, the estate had grown to 50,000 vines. By the 1900s, Sepult had become the largest wine producer in Australia and ventured globally by opening a distribution center in London, introducing Australia's fine sparkling wines and of course, Shiraz. They run daily tours of their heritage-listed underground cellars, but we opted for just the wine tasting on this visit. One of their specialties is the uniquely Australian sparkling Shiraz. This is a favorite during hot Australian Christmas season as it is served chilled. We featured this wine in our episode, Wine and Fast Food, where we paired it with some spicy lamb rogan josh. Although we have been to the Grampians a few times, we never tire of its magnificence and beauty. And with our newfound passion for wine, we felt like we were seeing it with fresh new eyes. We will definitely be back to conquer more trails and drink more wines. Till next time, Adiós.